first of all, are you surprised about how popular soccer has become here in the U.S.? Well, no. <laughs> I, I think we were always hoping it was going to be the the case, but um, it's grown. It's it's grown so much on the men's and women's side, and uh, again, that's what we want. We want progress in the U.S. and we want to be able to compete, you know, around the world. And um, I think for us on the you know, women's national team, it's it's always kind of been the case, but you see the men's side is growing as well, so it's uh, it's massive. Lindsay, can you talk about just, uh, I'm Michelle Coffin from the Miami Herald, by the way, welcome. Thank you. Um, just how motivated is the team after, I know that, you know, there was disappointment after the World Cup, you've got a new cycle now. Mm -hmm. How motivated is the team and, and what, what do you think, you know, pundits and everybody had their theories about what went wrong. What do you think went wrong and, and what do you think is going to be worked on? In the coming months to get to get the team back together well again we're we're a few months off of that now so i think we're just gonna focus on moving forward uh like you said and i think the team is you know fully fully motivated as we always are um after any big tournament win or or loss i think obviously there's extra motivation right now because that's not the way that we wanted to go out but um you know we have an olympics you know just around the corner um which is you know always <laughs> a huge main focus for us and in, in this U.S. national team. So um, uh, I'm proud of, you know, what we've accomplished the last few months because it's been hard and, and because we had to progress and we had to look forward and, and the future is, you know, just upon us. So I'm very excited and, and I'm excited to see where this team goes. Can you also talk about just the hiring of a new coach and, you know, just your, your feelings on that? And I know it's a few months now or whatever. You have yeah. to wait interim coach in the meantime, but yeah. just talk about that transition. Yeah, I, I think the team and, and myself, we were so very uh, happy and honored to have Emma as our coach. You know, so many great things that she's done in the course of her career and, and with Chelsea as well, uh, even though they're a main competitor of mine right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're we're very honored to have her. Um, obviously, we, we don't get her full time till till May, but I think Twyla's doing great with the, the team as well. Two matches now coming up against China. Obviously, you haven't played them now for five years. What are your expectations? Uh, for these two games? Well, again, like I said before, the the women's game um, has grown so much. And so I think no matter what, we're going to have a highly competitive game and obviously a big, uh, big camp for us. It's a lot of uh, new faces and, and kind of the end of the year. So uh, an exciting way to go out against a, a good Good opponent and again we haven't seen them in five years so it'll be interesting for us but uh that's great we we love this kind of competition have you had a chance to look at their kind of strengths and weaknesses obviously asian champions um yeah. going into this you know what, what, what kind of battle are you kind of expecting for them? well we just got here so we haven't done full tactical technical analysis yet but i think that will come in the the next few days but again i think it's a great side and, and like you said asian champions as well so a team that likes to win and and a team that's growing and progressing through the women's uh, the women's game just building on that, that other question you know obviously this is a this is a moment for the us team to, to kind of reflect and, and rebuild where do you you know what, what are the key focuses on you know as far as these two games are concerned in terms of the us team well, again, I, I know it's a <clears throat> it's been a long year for a lot of these players that are in the NWSL. So this is kind of the the end of the the season for them, end of the year for them. So I think it's one we want to go out on a high and and show kind of where this team is progressing uh, forward. And we won't have a lot of time together, you know, until uh, January, February when uh, when the next camp is. So I think just highly important for us to, you know, start meshing together and improving more progressing and, and two great games because we don't have a lot of games before the Olympics. So we got to utilize them and do whatever we can to, to win these games, but progress as a team as well. Just on that, that Olympic thing. So is that really like, as you say, it's really on the horizon. Is that like really like your, your key motivation now? That's really where the, the point of the arrow is. Well, it's uh, <laughs> it's one of them. Obviously, we have the gold. Sorry, we have the gold cup as well uh, coming up in February. So that's a huge tournament for us. It's the first one for us. So I think uh, uh, I think one we take each game as, as it comes. But yeah, uh, Olympics is is on its way, and that's a that's a medal that we want to win that we haven't won in a in a, a long time. And then you know the cycle starts for the next World Cup, and so you know everything starts now. Every camp matters. Every training matters every game matters so yeah very very excited Lindsay uh, Emma obviously had some comments about the U.S. team before she was uh, you know put into this role I guess what were your thoughts on what she said did you maybe agree or disagree with them or what did you and your teammates kind of think of, of what she kind of said before she got the role could you let me know what she said <laughs> I don't read everything <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, I have to pull it up. Um, Cause she, uh, she kind of just, um, you know, the talent needs to, you know, be, make more possessions. Um, you know, need to kind of be a little bit more creative. Uh, she was a little bit critical of the team. Yeah, well, one, I think anyone can be critical of our team after, you know, coming off this uh, this World Cup. I think you have to kind of deep dive in and, and see, you know, what what did go wrong and what needs to be done and how we can progress. And I think that is the job of a new coach to come in to sit here and be like, what does this team need? And I think she she's probably spot on with there. There's so much talent in this team. And I don't think the world has seen enough of it yet just because we need to we need to go out and show it. We need to be able to mesh together and and you know show everything that we have and and what we're all about and how we can you know really collaborate and play together and and be more of a team and, and be a powerhouse again so um but again it's it's going to be exciting for us to obviously have her and and see what she can do with this team and and how she can help us improve moving forward as one of the veteran quote unquote veteran players leader position what do you do what can you do to integrate you know there is such young talent and then, you know, how do you blend those two together, the younger generation and the more veteran generation? How do you do that as as someone who's a leader on the team? Well, first off, I think the young younger generation is taking over. I think it's, <laughs> uh, it's a very cool thing. I think we have a very young team here right now and uh, a few new individuals as well. So I think, one, I, it's, it's important for them to be able to fully uh, insert themselves and be comfortable in this environment, but know that it's going to be a challenge and being on the U.S. national team and being in camp here is, uh, it's hard, it's difficult, and there's a standard to be held and a, a, a level that you have to get up to every single day and, and to be able to show up every day and have that competitive, you know, edge. So I think that's huge for them. I think for me, it's, you know, one about helping them, you know, come into this environment, be able to be themselves, but know that, hey, you have to be up to this level, come show up every single day, uh, hold that standard. And we want to go out and win a gold medal uh, come this summer. So I think that's the that's the priority is, you know, every single thing that we do is, you know, for for that. And then we want to we want to get we want to win again.